Welcome Moodlers. Today I'm going to show you how to clear your browser's cache. A very effective way when using Moodle to reset and refresh um, exactly how the page should be should look like. Uh, what Moodle does is it creates cookies and it stores history of the site onto your local machine for fast easy access. Uh, but by doing that it sometimes becomes confused when you're doing editing to a course and you're updating new information it might not um, tell your computer that the information is new so you need to refresh clear out your browser history and then it will be back to the way that it should be so I'm going to show you how to do that using three different platforms um, the first I'm gonna go over how to use it on a PC with Internet Explorer so with Internet Explorer, as you see on my screen here, when it's up and I'm at my Moodle site, or I can be anywhere on the Internet, I can hit these buttons, Control, Shift, and Delete. And once I hit Control, Shift, Delete, uh, the window pops up asking to delete my browser history. I want to make sure that all these boxes are checked. Um, the password box could be checked on your side, could not be, it's up to you. That's not going to affect anything to do with Moodle, so if you would like to save your passwords that you have on your computer and your browser, then you're more than welcome to. Um, once you make a decision on that, you want to go ahead and hit delete. It'll go through a little time to delete your browser, depending on how much information you have in there, so it could take a while. And once it's done, your page will pop up. What you want to do to make sure you have the most recent page is to go up to your top bar and hit your refresh. Again, this is with Internet Explorer 8, so if you have previous or newer versions, the refresh button might look a little different. But once you hit that, now you're back to your main site. Uh, now we're going to focus on the Firefox portion, uh, still on Windows. When you are using Firefox in Windows, you're going to use the same exact keys, so it's not too difficult to remember. It's Control, Shift, Delete. You get your same box will show up. Yours might look like this if you've never done it before, um, but there's two little tabs that you can click on here. So if you click this one here, it'll give you some options on what you can do. And then if you click this here, it tells you which boxes you want checked. And you want all of those boxes checked um, just exactly like they are on my screen. You go ahead and hit clear now. And then you wait a little while, and usually it's fast if you've been doing it, you know, every every so often. So, same way as Internet Explorer, you're going to go up here, and you're going to hit your refresh, your reload button and now you have your brand new fresh page of Moodle. Now if you're using the Mac OS and you're using the Safari browser, what you want to do is you want to go to your top and hit your Safari and then go down to preferences. Then this box will show up here. You want to hit your privacy tab and then right here where it says cookies and all other website data you want to click to remove all website data and that will remove all of your data and you'll do the same steps once your Safari is up it will show a little delete thing and then you hit the refresh or reload button and you'll be ready to go. Um, if you're using Firefox with the Mac OS then what you want to do is the same steps as with the PC a set of control shift delete you're going to use command shift delete and then the box will look the same as it did uh, with Firefox on the PC so that's how you're going to clear your browser cache for all the different platforms and browsers that are, we recommend that you use while using Moodle for SSD.